Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install PostgreSQL 17.2 on Windows operating systems. The process is same on all Windows 10, 11 and servers. First go to PostgreSQL official website that is PostgreSQL.org. Hit enter. See, on number 21st, PostgreSQL 17.2 released. Okay, click on download. Then click on Windows, click on download the installer. It will be redirected to ADB, that is Enterprise DB's portal. See here we have the PostgreSQL version 17.2. For you it may be 17.3 or 17.4. But at the time of making this video, this is the version. So click on download. Wait a moment. See, go, download has been started. Go to downloads. See here, its size is. 331 megabytes. Wait until download completes. See, download is completed. Click on this poster SQL 17.2 exe file. Click on next. Select the installation directory for the poster SQL 17. This is the default directory. If you want to change, click on browse. Then select the path. Click on next. See, these are the components like PostgreSQL and pgadmin is the GUI tool, stack builder, it contains additional tools, see, additional tools like drivers and applications and command line tools like pg base backup, pg dump, pg restore and etc. Okay, keep all the checkboxes as it is, then click on next and pgadmin is the GUI tool for the PostgreSQL. Select all and click on next and this is the data directory, if you want to change you have to click on browse, otherwise click on next. Now provide the password for the database of user that is Postgres. Okay. Remember this password which is required to connect to PostgreSQL server. Click on next and default port for the PostgreSQL is 5432. Click on next. Local settings I am going with the defaults. Click on next. This see this is the pre-installation summary for the PostgreSQL 17.2. If you want to modify, click on back and you can modify. Otherwise, next, click on next and ready to install so click on next see installation has been completed you can launch and install additional tools later so unselect it we can see that stack builder if you go to applications postgresql see here we have the Stack Builder application. Okay, no need to worry. So, uncheck it and click on Finish. Now, connect to PostgreSQL. All applications go to the folder PostgreSQL. Expand folders. You can connect by using GUI tool that is pgadmin4 and psql shell. Click on first. We will connect by using psql shell. Click on this SQL shell. Server name localhost because I have installed PostgreSQL on this machine. Hit enter. Database default database is Postgres. Hit enter port 5432. Username also super user that is Postgres. Then provide the password that we have given. See, we have successfully connected. And see here, this is the PSQL version, not the PostgreSQL server version. So, verify the PostgreSQL server version. We have to run the command select version put semicolon. See, we have installed PostgreSQL 17 on Windows. Now, verify list of database backslash L. let me increase the font let me change the font and other properties backslash L is the command to verify the list of databases see these are the list of the databases comes with PostgreSQL that is PostgreSQL tablet 0 and tablet 1 to create new database use the command create database r semicolon we have successfully created let us verify again see new database after schools is there okay we can simply get the databases information by running the command dat name from pg underscore database see we got the list of the databases if you want to verify list of users just give backslash to you see we have only one user that is postures let us create a user create user james with password 
password, then provide the password for this user. Verify again, see we have these two users, okay. Until now we have seen how to connect process equals 17 dot 2 by using PSQL shell. Now we will see how to connect by using pgadmin. Go to start, click on pgadmin for Now click on add new server or right click on servers then register then select server both are same. See we got the, this window here also we will get the same click on see we, for both options we got the same window. Provide the name pg17 to name can be anything then click on connection here we have to provide host name or address address means IP address or full name full address local host port number 5432 main database postgres username same provide the password of this user then click on save expand it Exp see we got the postgres and artist course if we expand logins see here we have the james user we can create databases here also right click then select database then provide the database name then provide the owner name then definition see encoding template you can select a number of options okay and then if you select SQL it will give the SQL statement for to create this database click on save see new database is there we can verify by going to this PSQL shell give the C new database class is there see new database class is there okay or you can run the qu queries against any database right click on database query tool here we can perform the same SQL statements whatever we can perform here okay now if you want to switch to new database that is after schools use the command backslash here backslash connect and give the database name see we have switched to new database that is after schools as the user postgres now create a table create table student new table is there see we have a table student and owner is postgres and schema is public let us insert some data into this table See here I am giving S number as 101. See here both are same here. I am giving wantedly because it will throw error. I will show you the error and resolution. See error duplicate key value violate any key constraint because this S number column I have defined as primary key. So it won't allow duplicate values. So we have to give unique values for this column values. So give the unique value. See, we have successfully inserted. Let us verify data select star from student. See, we have inserted these three rows. We can get the same select star from student. Put semicolon. If we go to schemas, public tables. See, here we have the table student. Even give this select statement executed. See, we have these three rows. Okay. In the same way if you want to create logins right click on here select create then login or group role okay until now we have performed actions by using psql and pgadmin we have another tool that is dbweaver if you want to install dbweaver on your machine then go through the link provided in the video description install it i have already installed dbweaver click on this plus button then select the postgres equal click on next localhost port number 5432 database provide any database which is already existing then select this show all databases then provide the password for this user that is postgres click on click on test connection see we have successfully connected then click on finish expand databases see here we have these three databases 
okay if you want to create database right click create new database then give the database name db2 user click on okay see database is there if you go to each admin but here it is not showing right click refresh see new database is there even if you go here same way verify see new database db2 user is and one more option if you want to see the show configuration files location just give show config underscore file see this is the file for the process equal server configuration properties the same way if you want to verify the hb con file location show hb underscore file okay host hb means host based authentication which contains authentication rules the last option that i am going to show you is how to stop start and restart process equal service on windows machines windows run then give services dot msc press p see here we have the post is equal 17 and see here the status it is running okay so once we select your service right click then we can able to stop or restart also if we select here we have the options like stop and restart and buttons stop or restart okay so these are the ways to stop or start or restart post is equal service so okay so in this video we have seen how to download install and configure process sql on windows operating system then we have seen how to connect to process sql by using psql shell pg admin and db for more process sql tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you